I, I don't have any direct background in this. I'm really a hacker who loves to learn and loves to research and loves psychedelics. Okay, cool. So important uh, point I want to make on this is that the drug is not necessarily the teacher. There's this, this way that I feel like, I feel that we may be giving our power away by saying, oh, LSD changed my life. DMT just opened my, yes, but no. It, it was the key that opened the door within your own mind. And what you found within there, that was yours. That was you. That was not the drug. So give yourself credit. Don't give your power away to these molecules. Yeah. You are the teacher. So our next steps are to bioassay more drugs so their states can be reverse engineered and understood. Identify more receptors that can be brought into consciousness because right now we're only working with like eight. And there's many subunits and many other, other receptors that we don't know if they have effects or what effects they may have. And finally, build out our toolkit, this little, this little guy that you see here. Build this out so we can just go crazy, but not literally. And also find some pure serotonin 7 agonists, because right now we're missing that. So to have that little flavor enhancer would really, really make the toolkit a lot more robust. And then finally, develop new novel states along with therapeutic protocols for various forms of psychological trauma. And then coming up in October, we've got a one-day conference with Dennis McKenna and more. We are currently open for sponsorships for both the Stamets and McKenna events. So if you've got a business that would like to support our community, a dispensary, a glass store, a nature path, anything like that, uh, we are currently looking for sponsors. Let's keep Portland visionary.